the secondary metabolites are naturally occurring organic compounds found in plants. They have no direct role or function in growth and development of plants. So these secondary metabolites play a role in plant defense system, wound healing, ecological interactions and phenotypic expressions. Now first of all let's see the class of secondary metabolites. We have terpenes, phenolics and nitrogen containing compounds. The terpenes are the largest class of secondary metabolites having standard formula as C5H8N where N is greater or equal to 2. The terpenes are mostly found in conifers but we have terpenes also found in mint, citrus lemon, lavender, lemongrass, cannabis and many more. And in terpenes we have further subclasses like monoterpene C10, ciscoterpene C15 and diterpene C20. Then we have second class of secondary metabolites which are the phenolics or we can say phenol containing compounds. These phenolic or phenol containing compounds have aromatic ring in its structure. These compounds are defense compounds in plants like they are used against a herbivory. They also function in attracting the pollinators and many more functions. Some common examples are flavonoids, tannins and lignans. In peppers we have capsidol phenol compound. The walnut tree produces juglone, which inhibits competing plants and we have tannins produced by oak tree that have anti-herbivory property. Then we have nitrogen containing compounds in which nitrogen is found in its structure. These compounds have also anti-herbivory property and acts against UV damage. Like we have morphine, glucosinolate and lupinine. Now let's see the general overview of metabolism of these secondary metabolites. First of all we have the carbon dioxide which drive primary carbon metabolism via photosynthesis. From this primary metabolism we get the 3 phosphoglycerate that's 3PGA. Then this 3PGA drives into MEP pathway that's methyl erythritol phosphate pathway and even pyruvate leads into MEP pathway. Furthermore from this pyruvate we get the acetyl coenzyme A which leads into MEP pathway that's mevalonate pathway. So from here this MAP and MEP pathways drives the synthesis of terpenes. Now getting back to acetyl coenzyme A. From here it also leads to malonic acid pathway that drives the synthesis of phenolic compounds. Now we have only one secondary metabolite to synthesize that is the nitrogen containing compounds. So we see from the primary metabolism we get the formation of erythrose 4 phosphate that leads into ischemic acid pathway. And from this ischemic acid pathway, we get the synthesis of aromatic amino acids that eventually makes us the nitrogen containing secondary metabolites. Even this ischemic acid pathway generates phenolic compounds. On the other hand, we also see PEP that's phosphoenol pyruvate also leads into the ischemic pathway. And if we get to the acetyl coenzyme A, it drives into tricarboxylic acid cycle, which synthesizes aliphatic amino acids that produces us nitrogen containing compounds also. So this is the generalized outlook of secondary metabolites and its metabolism. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up to consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.